What's similar about Coach's message for this time of year? Is there anything different that he's, he's talking about this time of year? Um, I mean, the message always is the same. He just comes a, a different, like, depending on the team, the personalities we have on the team. And uh, I just felt like last year we didn't play hard enough and we, we, didn't, we weren't together enough. So we're big on that this year, like, from the jump, even from the summer. And even this year, we got a better summer. Like, everybody was here for summer. Everybody was in the boat. We got, had a trip to Canada. So we got like, a, a head start this year. But his biggest message is just us playing hard and us staying together. So we've been big on that from the jump. How are you feeling personally and mentally right now? Uh, personally and mentally, I mean, I feel great. Probably better than I ever felt. You know, I feel young again. <laughs> now I'm just playing though, but I feel good. I mean, it's just fun to be out here, have another chance to do it. Like a lot of people don't get an extra opportunity. So I feel like I'm blessed because I get one more chance, you know? How is that maybe different from the end of last season with you? Uh, I mean, I was in the same space. I mean, we can't control everything, you know? So it's just, it's just another step in the journey. You know, I'm getting older and more mature. So I'm, it's like, I'm learning like it's a part of life. You know, you can't control everything, but I'm definitely in a good head space. Been working hard, been just trying to stay healthy this year and battling adversity, you know? decision like for you to, to make the decision to come back? Was it hard or was it easy? To be honest, if I was a, selfish, it would have been easy because I wanted to be here. But, you know, for my family, they wanted to see me go pro one day and everybody that believes in me. So it was a little harder for me to make the decision for everybody. But to come back to Oregon, I mean, I love it here. I really haven't had no problems since I've been here. So With how last season ended, Will, even as a guy who doesn't spend much time on social media, and I know you don't, mm -hmm. surely since it went for several weeks, you had to be aware of what was being said and, and you know, just oh, yeah, yeah. random crap. Yeah. What were you thinking? And when you know that you actually have mono, mm -hmm. obviously, what are you thinking and how angry were you when people are questioning whether you were walking away from the program? Um, I mean, to be honest, I personally didn't really see it because I'm not really on social media. I just like, that's just my standards. I really don't like it. So, but I mean, people call me like, people around me, my parents, my family, just people that want me to do good in this world. I mean, they called me and told me, but it don't really bother me because I know the truth. I'm, my coaches, they know the truth. We all here, they believe in me. So what everybody else think really didn't matter to me because my coaches still believed in me, so. Waldo said that you're kind of a Dana Altman Jr. out there. How do you feel like your experience here allows you to really ingratiate the young guys in the program and help Yeah, them? most definitely. My, my experience definitely helps. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a learner anyway. Like, when I first got here, I was just a basketball, like, junkie. I'm a I got high basketball IQ, so that helps a lot. But me being here a lot helps too, so. And he believes in me, so I believe in what he does. So it makes it a lot easier. A senior point guard could have firsthand when Peyton yeah, chose yeah. chose to come back. Yeah, just sure. how much do you reflect on things that he did as a senior, as the team's leader that you're going to be in for this season? Uh, I mean, a lot. I mean, I, I really look up to him. I, I tell him that all the time, wherever I get a chance to. So, I mean, just from everyday things, for me, just getting shots up after practice and before practice, I seen him do that every single day. So, I, I take that from his game and then just his mentality, knowing he put the work in and knowing that people believe in it because everybody watches. Watched him put the work in. Everybody watches me put the work in on a day-to-day -day basis. So I know my teammates believe in me. So it just it's like it gives you like a lot of extra confidence. How often do you talk to him? Uh, I mean, I, I don't say I'm talking to him all the time, but like when I do shoot him a message here and there, I just let him know. We we all kind of default to the oldest players become the leaders. Well, and that's not always true. Yes, sir. And you were an older guy last year, and last year this team had a leadership issue. It was said yes, all sir. season. Wilder just said it. Coach just said it. How do you try to take that on more when when it was an issue for this team last year? I'm not yes, saying sir. you specifically. How do you try to take that on this year to be that guy? I'm just stepping outside my comfort zone, you know, like I wouldn't say I'm a quiet person, but I'm more of a person like if nobody bothered me. I won't bother nobody, you know, so just getting comfortable, just, you know, getting on the folks, holding people accountable, holding myself accountable every day. Because I'm always says like the hardest part about being a leader is you have to do it every single day. And like I just was inconsistent. Like I have some weeks where I was a great leader and then a couple weeks where I would just disappear. So this year just being working on consistency, whether like my life going good or not, like just making sure like, you know, I'm coming here to do what I got to do today. That's to lead the team. How much fun is it to play with a healthy Dante? Oh, it's exciting. I mean, this is probably the healthiest I've seen him. I played against him in high school, and that was the healthiest I've seen him. But up until this day, this is probably the healthiest I've seen him. It's, it's fun and exciting, you know? And he not only is he healthy, though, like he, he's a veteran, too. So he's been here three, four years. He's learning the offense. He's learning like stuff like the pass it, screen, and re-screen. Like, he's just learning more about basketball, and it's fun. It's exciting. He's working his tail off. So. I think the fine just the impact Kalel can have playing behind Dante and just what he can bring to the table for you guys. Behind behind him, next to him, you can play him wherever you want to. I mean, he, he's just uh, is a gift from God. I, I, I would say like, you know, 7-1, basketball IQ, basketball skills. A little bit, it reminds me a little bit about bowl because he's just, just freak of an athlete, you know, but it, I mean, it's exciting. He can block shots, the shots he don't block, he to them. Rebound, he can run, it's, it's really exciting. There's been a lot of guys that on either end played above the rim 
last couple of seasons. Does he does he bring that opportunity to block shots and oh, alley oops on, on both sides of the floor, especially on offense though? Like you could like be stuck and just throw it up there. You know he got to, the best chance on the floor to get it, so it's exciting. There, there's always a lot of talk each year about how for the new guys it takes a lot of time to like learn Dana's system or to kind of buy into that. But is there kind of a reverse to that? Like, how have you seen Dana kind of adapt to the roster and the personalities that he's had throughout your time here? Like, I mean, how long does it take him to kind of get used to you guys? I mean, I, to be honest, I, I think he, he does a great job from the jump. I mean, each each year it's, it's not really on him; it's on the players to buy into the system because he comes with the same message. It may be a little different according to our personnel, but he comes with the same message every year. So. It's really on our teams. Like my freshman year, it took us up to like late, early January, December for us to turn it on. Like, and we turned it on and went on a run. So each each team is different. Last year, we just never hit the curve. Like a couple games we played, everybody thought we was there, but the, the next we'll come back. And I guess that's on leadership and just us buying into the system. But I mean, we got a head start this year. We was in Canada playing early. So I feel like everybody, we got great personalities too. So everybody's really bought into the system. Outside of the actual basketball, what was your favorite part of the Canada trip? Um. It, so we went for one mission, was the basketball part. I mean, it was fun to be in Canada, but not, I'm not really there for fun, you know. I was there on a mission, so. I, I imagine it's a good time to get get to know your teammates. And, yeah, and for sure. Yeah, and we're a pretty close team, so, like, after after we probably go all eat together or we hang out with each other every day, like, it's a couple groups, but we all group together, you know, so it was just fun, exciting. For like seven or eight years now, going back to your high school days, mm -hmm. a lot of your playing career has been in part defined by guys you were around. You were around Davion and McCount. Yes, when you transferred for your senior year, you were at a powerhouse. You had all those yeah, guys. Exactly. Here you were with Peyton, you were with Chris, you were all these other guys, guys who obviously have had success, gone to the NBA, those sorts yeah, exactly. of things. No matter what you do now, there are no other chances. This is it. This yeah, is your exactly. life. How do you shift now to where, like, this is going to be about you and this is going to be your final year. This is about yes, you sir. now. Um, that's a tough question because, I mean, that's not my personality, but just putting in the work each and every day. Like, I mean, last year I would have a couple good sports, and I think that was to the work I was putting in, and I don't know, like, I would get lazy or not, or just not really want the will, but just me, whether I feel good that day or I feel bad, putting the same as that work in every day, just sticking to the schedule and knowing it's possible. You just got to believe.